over the years of um, entre comillas just doing my job I have grown more and more allergic against Deutschstechen hashtag design a picture of that mosquito and where it's written if you want to slap somebody say mosquito and remember these two twitter accounts bitcoin per minute english and in spanish bitcoin por minuto uh, twitter accounts i opened uh, at bpm432 in english so if you want to talk with me i want bitcoin per minute Capite? i should explain um in deutsch of course you understand in english and stechen means um prick sting or bite in espanol uh, picar you must understand my situation i've been almost more than half of my life now living on Gran Canaria uh, making much effort to learn language uh, Espanol, English and then uh, actually a little just for the money uh, having to talk German again if it, it feels like uh, somebody wants to send you back to kindergarten did you see the picture on Bitcoin per minute my Twitter account keep calm and banana phone you really want to talk with me i want bitcoin per minute and in relation to this idea of bitcoin per minute i wanted to say comparing jobs which you get paid once per month uh, comparing to getting paid per minute, Bitcoin per minute. Um, remember that video, um, a part of the video, just doing my job. By, by the way, I will paste it later. So um, if you have a contract, okay, I don't want to say uh, replace everything with, with Bitcoin per minute. Uh, many jobs, of course, they need a contract, but some jobs, uh, they could uh, work a system of payment just per minute and not uh, contract one. And then you, uh, it, in the end, it, it leads to the person think, Ah, I have to obey. Actually, I don't. I wouldn't do this again. It goes against my ethics. Uh, I must uh, hang on until the end of the month so I get paid, and the whole story repeats every month. So I think some jobs would would be really be uh, would lead to a better ethics uh, if there is not not such a fixed contract so if they find something oh this really goes against my ethics fuck i uh, the, the contract st stops here i want to get paid now and not <sighs> hang on until the <laughs> apocalypse some zombie apocalypse devil's breath hypnotize you do obey don't think just obey independent thinking is dangerous did you see in that video that hitler didn't uh, kill only the the jews but many many intelligent uh, people germans and in intelligent germans and my last video number 45 so please don't feel offended that I don't like to speak so much German, but oh, over these years I got very much allergy. The Germans have the money, so in the end you end up working for the Germans. Germany, founder state of Illuminati, soul confiscator, cat. Criticize this perverse system with an even higher level of perversion. Perversion. 
Hypocrisy, hypocrisia. I wanted to be part of the Jesuits, but it's a male society, so I had to transform my sex because I want to be part of them. By the way, at night time, my name is Sir Confiscator Cat. And in the daytime, Vanos Enigma. Invitation to my Twitter accounts. By the way, if you go to my YouTube channel, Vanos Enigma, the last section about, um, I have, um, <laughs> I have many Twitter accounts. Why? Because Bitcoin Dog blocked cryptocurrency cats. So many, I don't even remember my legal name. So in my Twitter accounts, I have my distributed my favorite hashtags. So the main reason why I'm doing this video now, because now starts for me a time that I have to do much more Deutsch Picture with the mosquito. If you want to slap somebody, say mosquito. <laughs> Good excuse. <laughs> the perfect excuse to slap somebody. Ah, by the way, I opened a new Twitter account, Warble, Comedy Warble Humiliation. Um, at verbal vh in the end twitter invitation some of my hashtags do not too much coffee written together hashtag too much coffee because this makes everything worse worse esto empeora todo así que no tomes demasiado café <laughs> By the way, I was honest. I really often said I really oh I really prefer to speak English and and Spanish and in addition some German dialect. Uh it's it seems like a competition uh a mixture of co competition of stupidity and incest, you know, incest. Okay, let's go back to Bitcoin per minute. You want me to speak? Uh, you you want me to speak Deutsch German? I want at least the double amount of the normal amount of Bitcoin per minute. Kabiche. Some men are like chewing gum sticking in your hair. Maybe I should cut my hair very, very short, so no more chewing, chewing gums will stick in my hair. Anyway, I'm always, almost always wearing a hat, so why not cut the hair very short? I like to wear the hat because I like to hide under my hat. <laughs> Ignore some... If they want to talk with me, they they should find me on internet and pay Bitcoin per minute. <laughs> I promise I won't block anybody because if you block people, it gets just worse. You don't want, like me, that people come in front of your door and start screaming and banging on the door, do you? This is so important, I should translate into Spanish. Bueno, no, voy, voy a prometer de no bloquear gente en Twitter, Facebook y tal, porque mira, si los bloqueas, solo empeora, porque van a venir de, delante de tu puerta y empezar a gritar y, y, y dar golpes en tu puerta. Joder. Sorry for getting a little loud, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, even some time ago, I made a video about this sexual harassment, verbal humiliation.
and with a funny picture of a cat and a dog and the dog is sniffing on the butt of the cat and the cat gives him a slap. <laughs> ah, by the way, um, I opened that Facebook uh, page. Bitcoin dog blocked cryptocurrency cat. Why? So, and in the in my last section of YouTube, I wrote, Why so many Twitter accounts? Because Bitcoin dog blocked cryptocurrency cat. So I had to open more and more Twitter accounts. So, so many Twitter accounts I opened. So I don't remember my legal name. And I made, a, and I made a funny video about my legal name and a picture. And oh, eh, my legal name! You, ah, they they ask you, ah, and is this your real name? Ah, everybody needs to be, need your real name and they need to know your account number. They want to know everything you have in your bank so they, they can confiscate you. Yeah, not, not, not just confiscate your money, they want, want to confiscate your soul. Soul confiscator. <laughs> Ah, and I designed a picture of my legal name, question mark. Once I was short of toilet paper, so I used my passport. <laughs> Just trying to remember the first time I used the hashtag Deutschstechen. I think it was something like always always fighting against my desire to throw the phone out of the window into the swimming pool Deutschstechen. oh by the way i want to sell my apartment here in gran canaria uh bitcoin is welcome i'm really uh convinced that bitcoin crypt Cryptocurrency, for example, Bitcoin, I prefer to say it that way. I'm convinced that it is the future of money, and not just of money. Um, and this is the main reason why I want to sell this apartment, because I really want to have money to invest and actually... I don't trust these governments. I, uh, they, uh, when they, when they lie, uh, can we please? No, not please. Ah, uh, they make you. They can. Uh, long story short, confiscation. Soul confiscator. Cat. But in the future, I think um, at least this um, topic of uh, properties uh, will have a better solution because um, uh, the cryptocurrency and blockchain is not just a um, system of money, but um, properties like houses can be registered on the blockchain. So... Um, but anyway, the governments and the last step. I ah, just want to remember you, I have the Twitter account, JCCVW Comedy Court. Um, at JCCVW is an uh, abbreviation for justice, question mark, court comedy in virtual worlds. Um, that's uh, of course this big big advantage that everything can be registered on the blockchain but uh, in the end it's always the question who has the right to judge question mark in my opinion who has the right to judge who is without sin cast the first stone 
This is one of my favorite quotes. And of course, innovation and freedom of expression is inhibited by the perverse law of intellectual property. I'll just translate that into Spanish. Uh, siempre al final la última pregunta es ¿Quién tiene el derecho de juzgar? ¿Quién esté sin pecado que tire la primera piedra? Innovación y libertad de expresión es inhibida por la ley perversa de la propiedad intelectual. And anyway, I should later I'll make a separate video about the question of rights. Human rights. Every, many times they use this ah, this word rights. I, I studied very much about the hashtags, made a list and uh, made order in, in um, according to the length too, then you have a better overview rights as a hashtag. Um, if you are much on Twitter, you know that it's always limited in space. And the characters, uh, right, is, is, is a short word. So, but I don't, didn't, I don't, I don't, in the, in the past, I really didn't use very often the word rights because especially this word right is in the word copyright. You know, and uh, it's it's like a perversion. Copyright shouldn't uh, shouldn't uh, be called copyright, but copy prohibition, because they they justify their um, their right to rule and oppress us just to with with the. Uh, just telling how oh, we defend your rights. So in order to defend you, our rights, they have to establish laws, which are prohibitions. You understand that? So it's in, in the end, it's a perversion of the, it's like uh, to co convert the word prohibition. So it sounds nice. It sounds you must defend the rights. The, the human rights you must defend them you must you must put on laws that who who defend these rights you know what, what right you have you have the right to shut up and obey this is your right so now later i'll just paste that video short part of the video um of just doing my job for money make lots of lots of money so they can confiscate it later <laughs> soul confiscator if we, if we decide to be afraid now then we're letting them win and we have to just stay diligent i mean i've but to answer your question, yes, I have been afraid before. I mean, as soon as we re release a video or something, we're like, wow, we're really, whew, we're going there. But then at the end of the day, it's also like, hey, it's also just a funny video. And it is it is what it is. And it's important. I mean, I'd rather live my life with integrity, you know, than, than to say I was too afraid to say anything. So I, I, I feel like it's... I want to look back on my life and say I did the best I possibly could with the time that I had and the resources available. And I just remind myself of that whenever I get afraid because fear is the enemy. Yeah, yeah. And I also think about, you know, my kids and if I were to not speak out and self-censor, what kind of lesson am I teaching them? What kind of message am I sending, right? <laughs> to be afraid of those who, right. who have the guns, right? Those in authority. Be afraid of those people that can hurt you. <laughs> and I mean, one of the one thing, one of the next big steps is somehow reaching the ones who hold the guns for the criminals. I mean, the police and the and the soldiers, they're the ones who would actually carry out this sort of brutality. And they're in our boat, you know. They're in the ninety nine percent. They're just the front, but they're in our boat. If we can reach them, game over. Like everything changes. If they realize, if they remember that they're people and they're in debt 
just like everybody else, and they're paying their taxes, and they're getting screwed by the man like everybody else, and they, take, they stop thinking with the uniform that they're wearing, then we win. I mean, period. Like, we win. So, I don't know. I, I trust. I, I, I live in love with a lot of trust. Trust in myself and trust of my, you know, I, I really am actively trying to put, you know, think from my heart rather than from my brain, right? And I feel like you can't necessarily go wrong when you're in that boat. And if somehow the government wants to take me out, that would be really unfortunate for me and for a lot of people. But I don't think that way. I mean, I can't. I can't. I just can't allow that thought to be in, in my consciousness because I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing. And that's that. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I mean, there's a uh, Larkin Rose. I don't know if you follow any of his stuff. Uh, I like Larkin Rose. Yeah, he makes some awesome videos. And you know, one of his, um, one of my favorite lines of his is, you know, I'm not afraid of the Maos, of the Stalins, or the Hitlers, right? Because they, they directly, they don't kill many people, right? It's only the the order followers, right? The people that work under them, do their bidding, and respect them as authority or near godlike deity status. Yeah. and kill millions of people in the name of government, right? Those are the people committing the true atrocities that we read about in the history books. Those right. are the people that are misguided, <laughs> that think that they're, they're defending freedom or, you know, spreading democracy or, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and granted, like, everything I just said, I mean, <clears throat> it's no simple task, obviously, like, getting no. through them. And then, I mean, you can see it playing out. It's almost like a script being written, right? And you have these things like, Ferguson or the Trayvon Martin case, the media really, really pumps life into these stories to really make it seem like it's all racism, mm. like it's a white cop versus a black guy. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I mean, it's, a poli it's the police state versus the people. Mm -hmm. but they're wanting us to think it's racism so that we end up getting really mad at the cops. But the cops are just carrying out their orders. So they're just distancing, they're just furthering the gap between the cops and the people. So that's very challenging. But that's, you can see their intention when they do stuff like that. You can see them trying to make, so then the cops are on the defensive, right? The cops are more afraid of the people. People are more afraid of the cops and more angry at the cops. So we have to, I don't know, you know, I don't really know how to solve that problem, but it is very important to deal with the police with love and be gentle and not call them the enemies because they're just, like you said, carrying out their orders. Yeah, yeah, the the, uh, <clears throat> the phrase or the sentence "just doing my job" is one of the most dangerous <laughs> phrases in the history of the world. You know how many atrocities has been committed with the excuse of just doing my job, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, and this police state is so scary. I mean, they 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 want us to be so afraid of you know Islamic extremists and terrorism and Muslims in general. Meanwhile, you're about, mm, what, a thousand times more likely to get killed by a police officer in your neighborhood than you are by a terrorist. I mean, let's, give me a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a Muslim like an ocean away, um, you know, with sandals is supposed to be more frightening than a police officer here that, you know, can disarm you at will, can club you, can tase you, can cage you, can, you know, can even confiscate your property, you know, enter your property without your, you know, consent and... Uh, I don't know if you heard about civil asset forfeiture, but that's another really nasty uh, method of confiscation of uh, of, of um, you know home or of cars. Just that's that, and that's related to the war on drugs, right? Just with any suspicion of drug related activities or possession, you know the police can come and basically evict the people from their home. It doesn't matter if they you know paid off their mortgage after decades of hard work, right? They just evict the people, and all of a sudden. <clears throat> You're fighting to keep your house that you paid off. <laughs> yeah, the game is rigged. And one more thing. When you come in front of the door, instead of screaming the legal name of the person who want to talk to, you should identify yourself, even the police before they break down your door they uh, normally they scream policia and then they break your door so identify yourself and not just scream the legal name who want of the person who want to t you want to talk to you understand okay let's translate <clears throat> 
Mira, cuando vienes delante de la puerta de una persona que tú quieres hablar con esa persona, no empieces a gritar el nombre legal de esa persona, sino vete a identificarte. Even la hasta la policía, si cuando empieza, en antes de romper tu puerta, se identifica, mira, somos la policía, somos la policía que ahora vamos a, a, a romper tu puerta. Así que, identifícate, ¿vale? Y no solo ah, eh, gritar el nombre legal de esa persona a volver a... Mira, ¿tú crees que esa persona va a tener ganas de, de abrir tu pu la puerta y hablar contigo? Una vez hasta no estaba en casa, sino estaba viendo a esa persona que venía delante de mi puerta. Yo venía de la piscina, quería entrar a mi casa. ¿Tú crees que es ese hombre se quedó más de una hora delante de mi puerta? Yo pensaba, mira, ¿cuándo se va? Ok, let's translate. Once I came from swimming pool and I saw one man banging on my door. And I thought, oh, he will go soon. No, he stayed almost one hour screaming my fucking name. Hold it. Español, inglés, deutsch. Normalmente produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally I produce only videos in English and Spanish. Normalerweise produziere ich nur videos in English and Spanish. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. Ja, algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video hashtag BTC4. Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I'm sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten uh, finanziell helfen kann. Y 
da motivación para aprender Bitcoin and give motivation to learn about Bitcoin und Motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im Moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my for the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. Or maybe a tip in a restaurant. Oder trinkgeld im restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin. De direcciones de Bitcoin. When you print the Bitcoin addresses, uh, 
um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen druckt, auch die, äh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin-Adress-Schlüsseln ähm, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin eh, en estos cuatro años, yo lo vuelvo a tener. Tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in this, um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. In mi video antigo. English, Español. Video Mix Nummer 25. Video Mix Nummer 25. This time I want to talk especially about hashtag JCCVW, which I created some time ago, abbreviation for Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds. Esta vez Quiero hablar especialmente sobre el tema hashtag JCCVW, que el hashtag que he creado hace algún tiempo so, que, eh, y es la abreviación por eh, justicia, Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds, eh, justicia, comedia de justicia en mundos virtuales. I made already several videos about this hashtag. Uh, ya he hecho varios videos sobre este hashtag. But this time especially thinking 
of my last video number 24 uh, robot ethics pero esta vez especialmente pensando en mi último video uh, video mix número 24 robot ethics e ética de robots First, I want to mention uh, the episode of Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, number 13. Primero quiero men mencionar el, el, epi el episodio de Simpsons, número 13, Treehouse of Horror, número 13. Just a side note, it's uh, astonishing uh, now many years in Spanish TV uh, and at lunchtime and in the evening they are still showing about half an hour or more uh, Simpsons, many years now. Es asombroso. Um, ya muchos años que por el mediodía y también por la, por la noche enseñan por lo menos media hora de los Simpsons in uh, television Española. Did you hear of the term Simpsonology? Has oído de, del término Simpsonología? O Simpson, Simpson, Simpsonology. Simpson, Simpsonology. Maybe I'll check out if it in Spanish. Simpsonología. Todavía no. Long story short, the moral of the this episode of The Simpsons. The animals have more ethics than humans. Resumiendo este episodio de Los Simpsons, uh, los animales tienen más ética que los humanos. Remember my last video number Video mix number 24, Robot Ethics, Cat Ethics. Recuerda mi uh, último video mix número 24, Robot Ethics, Ética de Robots and Cat Ethics, Ética de Gatos. And with a funny gif. GIF is abbreviation for graphic interchange format. Y con un gracioso GIF. GIF. Maybe it's a little bit helpful to compare robot ethics and cat ethics. Tal vez uh, ayuda a comparar un poco el ética de robots y ética de gatos. Once I said to my mom, uh, talking with this person is like uh, teaching teaching ethics to cats. Una vez he dicho a mi madre, mira, hablando con esa persona es como uh, enseñar ética a, a gatos. They just do what they want. Solo simp simplemente hacen lo que quieren. And the robots do what they are programmed to do. Y los robots hacen simplemente lo que están programados de hacer. The question is the responsibility. La cuestión es la responsabilidad. So in the end, you see, it's almost not controllable. Así que verás que al final no es controlable. But normal cats can never turn as evil as humans. Pero gatos normales nunca pueden volverse tan eh, malos, hacer cosas tan malas como los humanos. Perversion, perversión, opposite land, el país de justo todo al revés. Copyright, copy prohibition. 
El copyright es más bien no un derecho de copiar, sino una prohibición de copia, copiar. Law of intellectual property, la ley de la propiedad intelectual. Especially because I like to produce video mix, I got very angry about the legal system and the perverse law of intellectual property which inhibits innovation and freedom of expression. Especialmente porque me gusta producir video mix. Uh, me enfadé con el sistema legal, en especialmente el especialmente la ley de la propiedad intelectual que inhibe la innovación y la libertad de expresión. And if you continue to think about the legal system, uh, you get more and more doubts. Y si continúas de pensar sobre el sistema legal, vas a tener más y más dudas. But still, you have, I think it's important to have a place to talk about ethics. Pero igualmente pienso que es importante de tener un lugar donde se hable sobre ética. That's the main motivation why I created hashtag JCCVW, Justice Card Comedy and Virtual Worlds. Es la motivación principal por la que he creado el hashtag JCCVW, just Justice Card Comedy and Virtual Worlds, Justicia, Comedia de justicia en mundos virtuales. Even on my main Twitter account, Manos Enigma, the cover picture, uh, I've got written justice. Who has the right to judge? Who is without sin? Cast the first stone. Hasta en mi cuenta de Twitter principal, Vanos Enigma, tengo um, el cover, um, la imagen de cover, escrito justicia. ¿Quién tiene el derecho de juzgar? ¿Quién está sin pecado que tire la primera piedra? And it's astonishing how often the Simpsons show some kind of court comedies. Y es asombroso cuántas veces en los Simpsons enseñan algún tipo de comedias de juicios. I want to remember especially the lawsuit or court comedy of Homer Simpson when he sold his soul to the devil, Ned Flanders. Especialmente quiero recordar el juicio de Homer Simpson cuando vendió su alma al diablo, uh, Ned Flanders. En normal legal system, the question is always, is it legal or is it illegal? En el sistema legal, eh, normalmente la cuestión is is legal or is illegal but it's more important to ask is this, is it ethical is it right or is it wrong es más importante preguntar es está bien o mal es ético o es, no no es ético did you hear of the term jury nullification has oído de este término, ahora no sé en español, pero eh, uno tiene el derecho de decir que, por ejemplo, no culpable porque la ley es injusta. 
you have the right to say it's uh, not guilty because the law is not just unjust. I want to remember especially the case of Ross Albrecht, Free Ross, hashtag Free Ross, Dread Pirate, Silk Road. Especialmente quiero recordar el juicio de Ross Albrecht, um, Silk Road, Bitcoin, and my profile picture of Innocent Crypto Kitty y mi imagen de perfil Innocent Crypto Kitty que quiere decir el, el gatito inocente de criptografía. But it's medical catnip. Pero es catnip medico. 30 years of jail for running a website which other people used for buying and selling catnip. 30 años de cárcel por hacer una página web que otras personas han usado para comprar y vender catnip. And I want to remember what uh, said Roger Ware, uh, Bitcoin Jesus. He said something like, uh, the war against drugs cause more harm than the drugs themselves. Y quiero recordar lo que dijo Roger Ware, que es como el Bitcoin, el Jesús de Bitcoin, dijo algo como que la guerra contra las drogas causan más daño que las drogas mismas. Okay, let's go back to even if you would have want to have a person like ah and not just Roger Ware uh, the case of Charlie Shrim, another Bitcoiner. A very interesting case too and one interview um, I made a video um, very interesting comment of Andreas Antonopoulos in one episode of Let's Talk Bitcoin I think it's the video mix number Yes, I had just a look. It's video mix number 17. Posto en mirada es el video mix número 17 con Charlie Shrem. This comment I like too much, so I will paste it. Pasted here. Este comentario me gusta demasiado, así que uh, algunos minutos voy a pegar en este momento. Podcast can agree to the fact that whatever we have in this country that passes for a justice system has at least three tiers. There are, you know, people at the top who get infinite, infinite forgiveness for some of the most disgusting mega crimes and never face the tiniest consequence for their actions. You can put a million people out of their homes with fraudulent foreclosures. And you'll never see the inside of a courtroom. You can Rig markets, steal money from investors, defraud millions of people. You'll never see the inside of a courtroom. And yet, there's the other side of the scale where you have a situation of zero tolerance, where the slightest infraction, selling a loose cigarette for 30 cents, gets you a street side arrest judgment and execution by strangulation where jaywalking gets you shot by a cop, even if you're unarmed, and where cities run effectively debtors' prisons, where they rotate people through there for traffic fines and keep accumulating them until they end up in jail 
for violating subpoenas and things like that and run it as a for-profit enterprise. And then in the middle is the middle class caught in this justice system, this thin layer that's getting thinner all the time because they're getting squeezed from the bottom. And the middle class sees the top of this country getting away with uh, mega crimes and sees a wave of zero tolerance coming at them that used to only affect minorities, but now is increasingly taking bites out of the middle class. And they're struggling desperately not to fall into this Orwellian zero tolerance justice system. That's not justice. I think everyone on this call probably has a similar perspective to this, but effectively what we're talking about is an erosion of the rule of law. And the most fundamental concept of the rule of law is equality in judgment. If a law exists, there is one tier. Everybody faces the same consequences for breaking that law. And that fundamental social compact has been violated. And for some stratum of the society, it never really existed. You know, Some people were always going to feel the heavy boot of law um, with no recourse and um, suffered under that for 200 years. Uh, but now that is increasingly becoming the vast majority of the population. So you live in a society where the slightest mistake is very harshly punished. That's if you survive the police encounter. Um, while you watch a country's so-called elite just roll from scandal to scandal, from crime to crime, with no one going to jail. War crimes, no jail time. Bank fraud, no jail time. All of these things, you know, surveillance and violating the constitutional rights of millions of people, not even a misdemeanor issue. It just gets legalized after the fact. Lying to Congress, no problem. And then Preet can promote his resume by going after Charlie. It's really a disgusting situation, but I think it's, it's a situation that has nothing to do with Bitcoin per se. It's just a universal collapse of justice and the rule of law in this country. One of the few countries that actually had it. As that was so well said, I have no response to it. I, I completely agree with Andreas, everything he just said. It's 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 not limited to, to Bitcoin. It's a, it's an overall you see it you see it with everything. I mean look at the case of Aaron Schwartz. May he rest in peace, but once they have their sights on you, telling it's you per se, I think it's what you represent or who you are. Um, there's no getting out of those sites. And the higher up you are, the harder it is for them to prosecute you. It just doesn't make sense for them. Our justice system has been corrupted or skewed to, to, to what it is today. And I created a hashtag, let's talk justice, or maybe a better hashtag, let's talk ethics. I also created a hashtag, let's talk about justice, let's talk about justice, but maybe it's better, let's talk ethics, let's talk about ethics. After this part of video mix number 17, I will paste a short video comparison of the two uh, websites of Wikipedia about this episode of Simpson Treehouse of Horror number 13. Y después de esa parte del video mix número 17 voy a pegar un pequeño video en una comparación entre las dos páginas de Wikipedia en inglés, en español, 
I forgot to say in English, in comparison between English and Spanish of the episode of The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, eh, perdón, español ahora, eh, comparación del episodio de Simpson Treehouse of Horror número 13. Comparing hashtag JCCVW to uh, the real legal system, of course, there is no such thing like judgment, rather a fiction punishment. Comparando JCCVW, uh, comparándolo con el sistema legal, uh, por supuesto no hay tal cosa como un, una sentencia de juicio, más bien un, un castigo ficticio. Just want to remember you, I have that uh, Twitter account Soul Trade game in virtual worlds like Second Life with, with Virtual Guide Dog. Uh, recordar que tengo la cuenta en Twitter que se llama Soul Trade Game, traducido Juego de Negocios de Almas. Es como un juego en mundos virtuales como Second Life. Especially interesting for cats and blind people. Especialmente interesante para gatos y personas que estén ciegos o tengan problemas con los ojos. O people blind o people who have problems with the eyes. The bra. Anyway, watch my videos about Soul Trade Game. De todas formas, mirad mis videos sobre Soul Trade Game, juego de negocio de almas. And I have that Twitter account, Soul, uh, sorry, Soul Confiscator Catch. Y tengo este, esta cuenta de Twitter, Soul Confiscator Cat. You are welcome on all of my Twitter accounts. Normally I follow back. Estáis bienvenidos en todas mis cuentas de Twitter. Normalmente sigo de vuelta. So you see I have a double or triple interest to open hashtag JCCVW. Así que... Veis que tengo un doble o triple interés de abrir el hashtag JCCVW Justice Card Comedy in Virtual Worlds. Ah, what I wanted to say before about the jury nullification. Uh, if you really would like to, to um, participate in a trial lawsuit uh, to help uh, somebody from getting declared guilty fast. You have to take vacation. You have to buy a flight to New York. And I think this trial was in January of um, Free Ross Ross Albrecht, um, Silk Road. So, bueno, lo que iba a decir antes uh, con respecto al derecho de uh, renalification, en español no me acuerdo, so, no estoy segura, pero que tienes el derecho de decir que mira, yo estoy, uh, no estoy de acuerdo que esta persona sea declarada culpable. Oh, así que primero tendrías que tomar vacaciones, comprar un vuelo a Nueva York y eh, era ese juicio me parece era en, en enero cuando hizo un montón de frío. So comparing this legal system with uh, 
Hashtag JCCVW. This is in, in, in virtual worlds. Everybody can participate and talk about ethics, right or wrong. Don't need to buy a flight to New York. Uh, comparando ahí con el sistema legal. No, eso tiene que tiene lugar en mundos virtuales, no hay que comprar un vuelo a Nueva York y tanto, tanto esfuerzo para participar en un juicio, discutir sobre ética. Puedes fácilmente participar de cualquier lugar, ordenador, P2P, and especially talking about robot ethics, this will be very important in the future. Y especialmente el tema de ética de robots en el futuro será muy importante. Because it's easy to say that the person who programmed the robot is responsible for the actions, but uh, it's very easy to uh, to hide the identity who programmed the robot. Es muy fácil decir que la persona que ha programado el robot es responsable por las acciones del robot, pero es muy fácil de ocultar la identidad de la persona que ha programado el robot. So now I